No one up here. <clears throat> Except from butterflies and bees and seagulls. A seagull here. I'm on top of these Roman ruins. I just wanted to check in with you guys. These are mustard flowers. Just wanted to check in with you guys with uh, all what's going on. Hope you're all doing good in the best way possible. It's not necessarily easy, but we need to find a way through. We need to make this happen. We need to let go of the old. We need to push through this wrapping up, wrapping up of the Coming more and more obvious. It's not like mm, something's off. Nope. Something's been off for so long that now that it's becoming visible, it might be very tricky. Nevertheless, we want it gone. The old, the distortion, the limitation, in any way, shape, or form, we're ready to let it go. And it needs to go in the new earth <clears throat> in the new paradigm in the Aquarian age there is no time there is no space there is no there is no possibility of continuing with the with the limitation with the distortion we need to honor and be one with nature again and with everybody else need to honor ourselves and everybody else, every life form. We need to become aware of everything, what we say, what we think, what we want, why we want, where does it come from? Is it really an inner call? Is it part of a fashion? Is it part of what everybody else does? Is it necessary? Is it doing good? Is it helping? All these questions to really become aware of our choices, our decisions, our words, our thoughts. And from then, we can change. We need to change. It's not really an option anymore. It's or you change, or you change. <laughs> These are more, more or less the options. So there's a quickening happening. And it might become very um, blatant, obvious, and right in our faces. But for some people, it needs to become that way. It needs to become right in their faces so they can see it. They can recognize it. They can become aware of it and for many others it's seen it's known and nevertheless it surprises because the distortion was so deep we were given such a version of reality that we believed we signed up and we followed and uh, now we need to say basta enough I'm no longer you know 
resonating to this program and to this uh, this uh, this way of being of doing. You see, go with the air, go with the wind. The seagull, not even it's not even moving its wings. It's just taking the winds of change and going with it. All of them are. You see? and wind so they can do that today. Hmm. Blue skies. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, keep it up. Um, it's turbulent. Yeah, a lot of emotions. I've had a lot of sadness coming up. Not really knowing where from. It can be just from the collective, or it can be from past lives, or it can be from from uh, movement mm, changes, mm, energetic work that we're all um, the ones that are doing are moving more energies, amount of energy. So it can be also we become we become these uh, sort of funnels or or conduits of releasing energies, of transforming energies, and uh, sometimes it's a bit, it's a bit heavy, but nevertheless, possible. So, um, yeah, just uh, keep on going, trusting, hold the lines, be strong, trust in what's coming, in what's happening, in the change, know that it is for better, and uh, let's just keep on going, okay? Be strong, and know that we are more out there, wanting the new, and it's just gonna keep on going further. It's not gonna stop. It's um. Pushing and pushing. Boat's going to Formentera and boat's going to Mallorca there. Okay, everybody. Sending you much love from the hilltop. And I'm going to start walking down. Sending you all much love. And much hope. Much joy.